Welcome back to the world of Anthem. We've got a ton of brand new Anthem news to go over, including in-depth details about the leveling system. You know, we spoke about the fact that your pilot, your freelancer, will be able to level up. But what about your javelins? Well, there's some new info and details about how you level up your character in Anthem. Plus, also... We're going in-depth with matchmaking, talking about some of the activities that you can expect to matchmake with. Perhaps you don't want to travel the whole open world. Perhaps you just have like a half hour or an hour to play. Well, we're going to talk about how you can get into these modes quickly. Plus, solo play, respecting your freelancer, skill tree choices, and much more. So let's dive straight into this. So first of all, Yukimio says this, I'm confused then, this article claims differently, it says this in the article, your javelins will each have their own separate skill tree that also progresses as each javelin gains experience. And you can see that this links to an official EA article. Now Mark Dara of Bioware did respond, he says, yep it does say that, it's wrong. So they have a typo here, and he does expand on this a little bit more. He says this, there are no skill trees for javelins. They are gear driven, end quote. So what about skill trees? You know, previously I reported that you would be seeing skill trees in Anthem. Well, this is the important bit right here. Uh, Ajar says this, I think he's asking how easy it's uh, to transition from Ranger to the Storm or Interceptor. Say you leveled up the Ranger for a while and then you switch to the Interceptor through the levels you gain transfer to the next Javelin. A very, very good question indeed. And Mark Dara responds saying, Javelins don't have levels. The Freelancer does. Gear drops at current Freelancer level. End quote. So you'll be ranking up your pilot, your Javelin, level to level. And that's where you will be uh, seeing, you know, you know, perks and skill trees and stuff like that with your pilot for the actual javelins the suits uh, they will be completely gear based in terms of weapons uh, whatever defensive gear you can find and the like and then there's going to be things called masterworks as well uh, so when you transition from javelin to javelin of course you're going to be keeping all of that pilot uh, leveling and skills that you have earned throughout your career in Anthem. So that clears up that bit. There was some confusion about a confusion about that because of that EA article, which uh, I'm sure they've addressed that recently. So there's how the leveling system works in Anthem. Okay, so moving on, uh, let's talk about the order of unlocking javelins. So Warbird says, is there a set order you must follow to unlock other javelins? And the answer is a simple no. So you, can, so you do start out with, of course, your Ranger. But from then on, you can unlock any Javelin in any order. So I was really worried about that because freedom in a game like this is super important. So uh, you will be able to go in there after your, uh, you know, you progress a little bit with your Ranger and then pick and choose, I guess, the next Javelin you really want to unlock, which for me will be the Interceptor. So if there's a mission about unlocking the Interceptor Javelin, I'm going to be doing that pretty much immediately. So let's talk about pilot level leveling a little bit more here. So uh, this was a good question. Doc says this, in the spirit of this, you guys have said to add to immersion gear has to be changed at a base or in the strider. Does this also apply to pilot level progression perks? And Jonathan Warner of Bioware uh, uh, says a simple yes, end quote. So, uh, you will have to head back to the Strider or to your fort uh, to change up your perks and skills that you currently have equipped. Uh, so, you're going to really want to prepare uh, for battle before heading out of the fort. And if you do fell at you know a boss or raid or something like that it looks like you can go back to your strider to your four and really rearrange some of your perks perhaps and uh you know to better suit the upcoming battle all right also some of you are guys are wondering you know as you level up uh your freelancer 
will you have a set amount of perks that you will be given will it just be like hey here's a perk this is what you are given at level three or whatever so that's a really good question this is what paul w was wondering will there be choice around the skill tree or will it be a case of just leveling up gives new perks and the answer is yep you have choices and of course there's a typo there by mark he did confirm that is a typo uh, so you do have choices when it comes to choosing perks and leveling up. You're not just going to be forced to have a perk or skill. There is going to be some sort of option uh, as you progress through the game in that regard. And uh, speaking of options, it has been confirmed by Jonathan Warner that yes, you can respect your freelancer for a cost. So maybe you don't like what you've done with your skill tree uh, with your freelancer. So you can go in for cost, of course, respec them, and uh, make that decision as you go. Of course, you want to avoid making that decision. Now, let's talk a little bit about matchmaking as well. Some of you guys were wondering, can you matchmake into all uh, of the activities in the game? Or is it just going to be for the strongholds, for these type of raids, I guess you can say? And uh, that was a question asked by Marcos. Will there be matchmaking for any activities very good question because some people, you know, a lot of us just don't have time uh, to roam the whole open world. And Mark Dara confirms all activities can uh, be matchmaked uh, in. So you can use matchmaking for all of the activities in Anthem, which is huge for those of you that are on, you know, time constraint, which is basically, I think, everyone in the world. Uh, so, yeah, good news. Now, uh, we have more details about single player and solo play as well. Uh, so crazy Kami says, is there going to be an option to play alone in a server without three randoms or friends? If you answer this, thanks, smiley face. And Mark Dara confirms in missions, yes, end quote. So that's actually really exciting for those of you that don't want to be bothered by other players at all. Maybe you don't want uh, them stealing your kills. Maybe you want more of a challenge as well and experience the game for yourself. Uh, you can actually do that with matchmaking into missions. It looks like you can go completely alone, single player, uh, the missions themselves, the activities and stuff like that. You don't have to be required to be with three other players, even randoms at all times. So that is really good news for those of you that just want a challenge to experience the game in single player and really don't want to be bothered by other players. Guys, there you have it, a roundup of the latest happenings around Anthem. Uh, some uh, really cool news about the, you know, leveling system and, uh, you know, how gear is uh, basically for your javelin. How gear is going to be uh, changing your javelins, not the skill tree. So keep that in mind. The skill tree, the leveling is all going to be for your freelancer is going to be kind of an overarching thing and then you're going to be getting into more detail and specifics with your javelin so your colossus your interceptor uh the storm and of course you'll be starting out with the ranger so that's where a lot of your variety and a lot of the in-depth mechanics are going to come into play and then i think a lot of the passive abilities and stuff like that are going to be uh, with your skill tree i'm curious to see i want to really really want to see this skill tree how much passive stuff we get on the skill tree and active abilities we get as well. I'm hoping it's super in-depth, but from what Mark Dara and the guys at Bioware have indicated, uh, the skill tree offers a lot of choices, so it's not going to be, uh, you know, 100% linear skill tree, and it sounds like it's also going to be offering some sort of perk rewards at each level, perhaps, at each rank, so that's also something exciting to consider as well. But guys, yeah. Stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Anthem news. I will keep you guys up to date on all things Anthem uh, going forward. And hopefully we have more news uh, about the beta as well. You know, they did an EA financial call about that recently. And they did indicate that we should be hearing about, uh, you know, pre-launch opportunities to go hands-on with the game here in the next month. So I would expect that to be happening during Gamescom. Guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.